Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut a key that has uh, broke. Um, you can actually still duplicate these as long as the cuts, let me try to get that in focus, as long as you see all the cuts on it still. So if it broke off all the way at the end um, and you have majority of the cuts, uh, so this is, most of the times a customer will bring it in with the head, you know, fall, broken off. Um, so you can get an idea of what type of key it is, or you can look at the profile of the key um, and know what it is. Um, or, you know, visual identification, or uh, there's a code on the key head. We know this one's a, a KW1, but if, uh, if there isn't, then the other thing you could do, the third way, is through the uh, key decoder. Um, so anyways, what I'm gonna go ahead and show you is just how to cut this. Uh, there's gonna be other scenarios uh, that you'll run across, but most of the times keys can be um, made even though they're broken. Let's say if it was broken right here, um, as long as the machine can grip it and hold it together, you should be able to make a cut out of that um, or make a new key out of that. So simply what I'm gonna do now is, get that into focus okay so this is the other uh, key cutting machine for edge cut keys uh, here because we don't have a shoulder stop anymore we're gonna have to use the tip stop so we're gonna base it off of this tip right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tip tip stop in to there's three grooves I'm putting in the middle one and that happens sometimes it'll slide down to grab them. Okay, tip stop in, get the key in. Okay, let's see, can I? All right, so I have the key pushed all the way this way now. It's right at the edge of the tip stop. I'm getting my key blank, putting this tip stop same exact one, so it has to be the middle one. And boom, now it's in place. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have goggles that protect your eyes because all the metal shavings will go flying. So I put these on. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go layer by layer. So I'm gonna be cutting this um, and holding this, even though this is a semi-automatic uh, key cutting machine, you wanna control the carriage um, and I wanna cut it layer by layer and uh, you know, sometimes with these keys, if you're holding together two broken pieces, uh, you wanna be a little more delicate because the tracer can get stuck in between the, the where it broke and sort of move the key. So you just have to be careful. Um, but aside from that, tip stop, made sure that the keys are in the same, same place. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the key. There is a button that you can't see right here that I'm pushing that releases the carriage. So I'm pushing down pushing this button, and now it's released. This automatically turns on. If this is uh, red up here um, and the light is on, that means the machine is on and it automatically turns on once you lift up the carriage. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer by layer. And this is how you completely mess up a key. Okay, so. Um, Totally forgot doing an edge cut key. You'll see what happens uh, right there. Let's see. Try to get into focus. Ooh. Bad cut, terrible cut, okay? So you just have to pay attention to what you're doing. Didn't realize, I completely forgot that I'm cutting an edge cut broken key. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get another key blank. Try not to do that. <laughs> so I got another key blank. Let's go back. And this is why you have to control the carriage to make sure that uh, you don't go past the point that is broken. So I have to keep a big, my eye on this side to make sure, I don't know if I can get in a little bit more. On this side, since there's no key portion here, the head portion broke off, I have to make sure I stop it right over here uh, as I'm cutting. So let's try that again. Key blank, need my tip stop again. In, oh, 
you know what? This tip stop on this side is on the third one. So it's right over here. Okay, so they're both in right now. I have to be super careful on this side. I just, I'm, I'm gonna cut up to right here, okay? Layer by layer. So, I have to be super careful at this end because there's nothing over here. So I almost have to cut it at an angle myself. So I have to control this carriage and I'll show you what I'm gonna do afterwards. I'm gonna file it down to make it real smooth. Okay, so I ran it over all the key cuts, all the ridges, and it seems like a pretty good cut, but we're gonna to wanna to do some work um, over here. It's not as smooth as I want. I'll deburr it first. Deburred. And I want to make sure this is smooth. It won't affect, affect it in, uh, much anyways because, oh. Yeah, as long as this, where the flat areas are, that is where your pin lies. So as long as you get that all good, you're fine. So I think it's one, two, three, four, five pins. This portion, I just want to shave down more for uh, aesthetics. Um, so I'll just get a file and I'll show you how to do that. So you want a flat file, sort of like this. Um, this would allow you to just shave down the key a bit. So I'm gonna show you. Usually, you know, I have a little workspace that I'm working with. Um, let's get into focus. Okay. So I'm just gonna, just a little bit, just to smooth this portion out. Don't take down this flat area. If you do, you're gonna mess up the pinning because now it's gonna, the pin's gonna go too low. Um, so I'm literally just filing down a tad bit just to give it that flat angle. So I file a little bit, examine it, and I feel pretty good about this. So I know that uh, the key is going to be able to slide in and it just looks like a good key. So when you duplicate another one, um, it'll be really easy to do and it's gonna be a good looking key. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. That's a, how you cut a broken key. Uh, most of the times you'll see it in car keys just because they're twisting it too hard, but you'll see some smaller keys that tend to have a very thin piece of, um, metal right here those are the ones that tend to break uh, but you can fix most of them as long as you see most of the pinnings or if they have the head portion of it and you can see that it's still a whole key you can pretty much cut most broken keys um, without too much extra work but yeah aside from that that's how you cut uh, a broken key